Secretary, appreciate you being here to testify today. Um, things have gotten a lot worse since the last time you testified before this committee. Inflation is at a 40-year high. It's impacting Americans with higher prices across the board. When President Biden took office, the price of a gallon of gas was $2.38 a gallon. Today, it is $4.92 a gallon. This past Memorial Day was very expensive for people to travel. Uh, in my home state of Wyoming, rural areas, people who volunteer to drive for Meals on Wheels to deliver meals to shut-ins have had to stop volunteering, not because they don't have the time or the commitment or the open heart, they don't have the money for the gas. That is the number one issue affecting the American people. And a few weeks ago, we had the Interior Secretary testifying before the Energy Committee. I asked her if she thought that gas prices were too high. She could not come up with it, didn't think it was an easy question, couldn't come up with an answer. Of course they're too high. But I ask you, do you think that gas prices are too high? Absolutely. Thank you. The, the, the people of Wyoming, vast majority of Americans agree with you on that point. And the question is, what are we going to do about it? Well, in your fiscal year budget and revenue proposals, as part of the proposed tax hikes, you specifically target U.S. energy production with tax hikes. On top of your tax hikes, the administration is doing everything it can to end oil and gas exploration and production on federal lands. Just last week, the administration announced a sue and settle agreement with environmental extremists, which calls into question millions of acres of oil and natural gas leases in the West, including 2,000 leases, specific leases, in my home state of Wyoming. Some of these leases have been let 2015 all the way up through the end of the last administration. The president had his op-ed in the Wall Street Journal, said, uh, talked about gas prices, said, well, we need to take every practical step to make things more affordable. But it seems to me tax hikes and other decisions like this are not going to help and are actually going to make matters worse. Making it more expensive to produce American energy would simply lead to higher prices for consumers. And once that energy is produced, it needs to be transported to refineries and eventually to gas stations. Well, pipelines are an important piece of that transportation. But on CNBC last week, you specifically suggested pipelines don't matter. On one hand, both you and the President say gas prices are too high, to which I agree. But on the other, you are targeting American energy with taxes, and that's going to result in higher costs for Americans. So since you agree the prices are too high, can you please explain the inconsistencies with the policies of the, Secre of the Department of Treasury and the administration? Well, I would say that as a medium-term matter, um, the way to reduce energy prices for Americans is um, to promote um, credits, energy policy that boosts the production of renewables that will um, reduce our dependence on global um, oil markets where geopolitical um, factors can cause energy prices to spike, as we're seeing with Russia and Ukraine, and can lower utility prices for Americans. In the short run, before that happens, um, high prices, we, we have very high prices, as you pointed out, for oil. Um, I believe that producers are sitting on 37 million acres of um, land under le lease from which they can drill and produce additional oil, and high prices are a motivation to do that. So we do need additional oil. Um, the prices that Americans pay are influenced by what happens in global markets, and so um, promoting the production of additional global oil it will help to relieve um, supply shortages in the global market, but it won't completely um, insulate Americans from global oil market pressures in the short run. Well, well, I would point out that in addition to the leases, you actually need the permission to drill, and this administration has blocked all of that, and this sue and settle agreement by the administration last week is taking many of those acres that you just described and freezing those so they cannot be used. And with $5 gas, what we see today is the President calling on um, using the Defense Production Act, not to go after this, but to build solar panels. And that is, seems to me the wrong place to be using that act. I would just point out, Mr. Chairman, finally, that uh, yesterday's USA Today, front page story, 
picture, uh, Madam Chairman, of you, uh, Madam Secretary, you and the President of the United States. Yesterday's USA Today headline, small risk of inflation swelled to a global threat. Underneath, White House waved off economists' warnings, and uh, they quote you from uh, ABC March of 2021, is there a risk of inflation? You responded, I think there's a small risk. This is with regard to signing the American Rescue Plan. You say, and I think it's manageable. Given that, it makes me wonder why Americans should put any confidence in your pronouncements and decisions and recommendations today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank my colleague, Senator